Let's get to our final trade of the day. I'm turning to Chris Robinson now because it is a big day for the ag sector. Tell us what's going on here, Chris. Well, we're, uh, the long-awaited USDA report is coming out today at uh, 11 a.m. Chicago time. And it is, uh, we'll get a supply and demand report, but we'll also get planning intentions. And it's a, it's a pretty volatile uh, report. Historically, if you look at it for the past 10, 12 years, there have been times when we've had uh, several limit moves where the market moves and stops trading. So the market's very oversold. Now, who's long? Well, the American farmer's long. Uh, commercials are long. So that's why these reports, it's a frozen point in time where every bull and every bear gets a report card. This is exciting. So what would you do as a trade here? Well, I, I think that the, the surprising move would be if we rallied, right? And since the herd is very heavily short, the cheap way to do it, to do it would be to buy some cheap out of the money calls if you think we're going to rally. Uh, there are also, the second strategy would be if you did a kind of like a, a, a straddle where you'd buy a put and a call, and if we have a violent move, one of them is going to go worthless, but the other one should be profitable. So that's the way people play these reports. Um, and are you going with a straddle? Yeah, I think so. I mean, well, we, it, it gives you two opportunities and what you're looking for is movement. What you don't want to do, this is the type of deal where you don't want to uh, sell volatility because right now volatility is very, very low. These are the types of reports where people sell something to collect an eighth of a cent or a penny. The market blows up on them and the next Ooh. thing you know, they owe money. So uh, these are not the type of reports where you want to go into uh, where you've sold volatility because that opens you up to a lot of risk. So, But if you have straddles, you have exposure to the upside and the downside possible moves in the market. Right, because you're long. You're long the options. So you've bought the call, you've bought the put. One of them is going to pay off, especially if we have a violent move. So I would stay away from selling premium, especially if you're uh, new to the game. Um, uh, and I would say these reports are a great opportunity. Sometimes nothing happens, you know, I'm, and that's the problem. Uh, people always expect something to happen, but uh, the, with the way we're going into this report, um, you know, we could have a, a repricing event. So hopefully, if you're an American farmer, you're going to hope that prices uh, rally. We will be pulling for the farmers. Thank you so much for being on the show. Great to be here. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.